here today back at home and I came home to quite a lot of very exciting packages which I am really looking forward to showing you guys so I got sent quite a few things from my friends they were getting rid of books and they decided that they would send them on rather than just giving them to the charity shop so Jean from Jean's Bookish Thoughts who I'll put a link to below and Jen from Jen Campbell, again I'll link her below, both were super super kind and sent me some of their old books that they didn't want anymore. I am so grateful because I am really looking forward to reading them all. Also I won a competition and won a book from that competition which is super exciting, I cannot wait to read it, and then I got sent a few from publishers, so quite a lot to show you guys. Let's get started. Let's start off with the ones that publishers sent to me. The first one I have to show you guys is this one. It is Treats by Lara Williams. This is an absolutely tiny little book. It's only 125 pages. It's published by Freight and it's a really, really cute collection of short stories. I haven't read all of them yet. I've only read the first one, but I really enjoyed the first one. It's a literary connection, so I do not believe there's any sort of magical realism or magic of any kind. I don't think that's in there at all, but it seems like a really realistic depiction of life. The first story in this is a really down-to-earth, kind of pessimistic, but really quite true version of a young person's life, and it is told in second person so you feel as though you're the one who is going through the story and it's basically talking about how you graduate from uni and then what you do after that and how life goes for this individual and it's really really well written I really enjoyed it definitely would love to get through the next few stories quite soon I would say this is probably going to get a fairly high rating if the stories continue to be the same it seems like it's really good so far so thank you for sending this to me I actually requested it from them because it sounded like something I'd like and I'm glad to say that so far I am liking it so looking forward to reading more of that one the next one that I was sent was this one it is called underground and it's by SL Gray and I was sent this one by Pan Macmillan so again thank you to them although I didn't request this one they just sent this one to me so I didn't know an awful lot about this this one is about someone being trapped underground quite terrifying already it says the sanctum is a luxurious self-sustaining survival condominium situated underground it's a plush bolt hole for the rich and paranoid, a place where they can wait out the apocalypse in style. When a devastating super flu virus hits, several families race to reach the sanctum. All have their own motivations for entering. All are hiding secrets. But when the door locks, someone dies, they realise the greatest threat to their survival may not be above ground. It may already be inside. Sounds pretty good creepy <laughs> um, kind of dystopian and I'm looking forward to reading this I think Eleanor also picked this up fairly recently and so I think we'll hopefully do a buddy read of this I'm looking forward to it now on to the one that I won this is very exciting because I've never won a Twitter giveaway before but I did and this one is published by profile books so I won it through their Twitter account they were holding a competition it's called being a beast and it's by Charles Foster now this is a non-fiction book and it's so beautiful I'm sure you'll all agree the cover is all the way around absolutely stunning and I couldn't really resist the cover but then I read the blurb and found out that it is actually super super interesting so there's this guy called Charles Foster the author who wanted to know what life was really like for a badger an otter a deer a fox and a swift so he tried it and this basically recounts what he had to do in order to be these animals for a set amount of time so he would live underground when he was being a badger and he would scrounge from the bins outside in London when he was being a fox and he followed migration patterns when he was being a swift and all of this crazy stuff so it sounds really cool and a bit weird but I'm really looking forward to this actually and I'm hoping it's going to be a lot of fun and I'm really glad that I won it as well so <laughs> even better but yeah definitely one to watch out for if you're into non-fiction and you want to pick up something kind of wacky and weird but pretty cool sounding hopefully it will be really good I will definitely report back to you guys when I've read it but yeah interesting for sure 
And now on to all of the books that Jen and Jean very kindly sent to me. So most of these are from Jen and one is from Jean. So I will show you the one from Jean first. Jean very kindly sent this one to me. It is called The Honours and it's by Tim Clare. Don't know an awful lot about them. It says 1935 Norfolk. War is looming in Great Britain and sprawling country estate of Aberdeen Hall is shadowed by suspicion and paranoia. Its newest resident, Miss Delphine Venner, is determined to uncover the secrets of the Hall's elite society, which has taken in her gullible mother and her unstable father. As she explores the house and discovers the secret network of hidden passages that thread through the estate, Delphine uncovers a world more dark and threatening than she could ever have imagined. With the help of head gamekeeper, Mr. Garford, Delphine must learn the bloody lessons of war and find the soldier within herself in time to battle the deadly forces amassing in the woods. I do really like that this is like an extra bit on the cover. Um, I always think that sort of thing is pretty cool. So that's what the actual cover looks like underneath and I think you'll all agree that that's a very, very pretty cover as well. Um, it says on the front of it that Chris Riddell, who is an illustrator and author that I really, really love, actually said that this was haunting so I'm hoping it's not too haunting and scary because I'm a bit of a wuss but I am hoping it's good as well so the next ones were all sent to me very kindly by Jen who is absolutely lovely and I adore her definitely subscribe to her channel if you're not already because she's wonderful and they are Radiance by Catherine M. Valenti which I'm sure loads of you guys have read and heard about I haven't read this one yet, but I have been meaning to get it for a while. Very much looking forward to reading it. Um, I've heard it's weird, which I kind of expect anyway with Catherine M. Valenti because she is a weird writer. She does cover weird topics and she writes very, very beautifully. So I'm hoping this will be a lot of fun, but her books, they tend to go one way or the other with me. So we'll see which way it falls. But this one apparently is written in a really interesting way. It basically has different texts. So this is one style of font and then this is another and each different font style I guess kind of links to a different um, part of the story. It basically follows this girl who gets lost or goes missing or something and we follow her and her storyline but we're also following the events leading up to it and the events after it and what's happening in the media and things like that so basically a lot is being covered is what I understand of this book. I don't really know any more than that, but I know Mercedes read it and really liked it, and I know a couple of other people who've read it and really liked it. Equally, I know some people really don't, so I don't know where I'm gonna fall on the spectrum, but I'm really happy to have it, and it's absolutely beautiful. Jen is absolutely lovely and always sends a really cute little card whenever she sends us books, and I love all her little cards and postcards. They are so sweet. So thank you, Jen. Also, another one that she sent me very, very kindly is this one, which is actually a box set and it's the Lois Lowry box set. Now, the card she sent me with this I love because I absolutely adore Alice in Wonderland and particularly I adore the John Tenniel illustrations and this is the original John Tenniel illustration with colour, very, very beautiful, I think you'll all agree, of the Cheshire Cat and Alice. So cute, absolutely love it. Then, before I show you the books, this actually comes inside the books or inside the box set, shall we say. Um, and that is a really cool map poster thing, which I am very happy to have. Don't think I'll put it up anywhere, but I really like the fact that I've got it. And you can see that there's like maps on each of the things. So that's really, really cool. And then within the box set, I have three books, all of which are by Lois Lowry. The first one is the Giver. I have actually already read this. I own the Kindle version and I really, really enjoyed this and the film. So I'm very, 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 very happy to have this. And then we also have The Messenger and Gathering Blue, which I believe are the second and third in the same sort of series. I don't think it follows the same characters, but I think they're linked somehow or something like that. I believe there's also a fourth one, but that doesn't come in this box set because it was published after the box set. Thank you very much to Jen for sending this to me because I am really excited to read these two and definitely happy to actually have a physical edition of this one because I really, really enjoyed it. So again, Thank you for these. And the final one in this haul and the final one that Jen sent to me is this one. It is My Father's Arms Are a Boat by Stein Eric Lund and Oivind Torster. That was a big butchering of those names. Apologies. 
this is the story of a little fox and I believe it deals a little bit with grief and things like that. Again, we have another really cool Alice in Wonderland postcard, which I am very excited about. It says, it's never been so quiet. Unable to sleep, a young boy climbs into his father's arms, feeling the warmth and closeness of his dad. He asks about the birds. He asks about the foxes. He asks about his mum. The two of them go outside. Loss and love are as present as the starry sky. Silence is everywhere, and sweetness too. Torster's ethereal, cut-out illustrations interact beautifully with Lund's lyrical text, which is simple and suggestive and as natural as the natural world it invokes. In this quiet, sad, but untimely incandescent picture book, we meet gentle, steady father, who calms his anxious son as they take care of each other during a vast winter's night. And as it says, it is illustrated. The illustrations are stunning. I absolutely love them. And I think you'll all agree, the little fox character is fantastic. I love how long his tail is in relation to his body because it's definitely not realistic, but it's very cool. And so I'm really looking forward to this. It's super short, very, very cute looking, and I'm sure it's going to be a really, really moving, beautiful book. So I'm very much looking forward to this and very happy to have it. Again, thank you to Jen. So thank you to everyone who gave me books in this. Whether I won the competition, whether it was sent by a publisher, or whether it was one of my friends, you are all absolutely lovely and I'm so grateful because I didn't buy any of these, which is crazy but really cool and I'm so eternally grateful. So I would love to hear if any of you guys have picked any of these up. If you are interested in any of them, then do let me know in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all very soon in another video. Bye! Me and you gonna have a little chat about the